All right, guys, we got a lot of work to do today. We're going to try to work on the rear brakes, get the rear end back under that truck. Just a bunch of little miscellaneous things gets one step closer to being done. So here we go. guys we got another day here we got our rotors covered and that was the most important thing so i can slap them tires and rims back on this rear end get it put up under the truck and once it's up there i can hit some of these areas that was underneath where i couldn't get to with them sitting on these chairs leaf springs are coated everything's ready to go we can get that lift kit on and get this frame rolling today so let's get at it
We're on our way to having a roller frame again. Got all the lift kit on. I left everything loose. I thought I needed a little bit of weight on these leaf springs before I tightened them down. Once I get them tightened down front and back, I am going to go ahead and lift the truck up. I think that's going to help these leaf spring U-bolts center a little bit better. Get them snug down, everything tightened up. We'll be on to the next step. Okay, lift kit is installed, looking real good. The idea to have weight on these shackles, I believe, was a good idea. I think if it was hanging, it would change the angle there of what that shackle would be, so I stand by it. Suspending the trucks, tightening the U-bolts, stupid idea. Did not work out good, do not recommend it. To get them little tits in the leaf spring to line up with the block and everything, it was so much easier to have weight on it. I was worried about getting these leaf springs straight. Didn't want anything. I didn't want this truck to catwalk or anything once I got it done, but to me, it worked out better just to have weight on it. So, swing and a miss, but lift kit's on, looking good. Got the rear differential vent extended up there on the cross members, looking good. Got the front one extended also. Same deal, looks good. I think now we're going to try to clean up these fuel tank mounts over here, get them cleaned up and undercoated. Get the fuel tank on and get them fuel lines ran.
All right, guys, we got these bad mamma jammas all undercoated. The only problem is now we got to let them dry before we can put the tank on the frame. So when trying to find some filler work, I was going to start on the rear end over here. I got two new brake lines, new rubber hose to run, but I forgot to paint our mount here that comes up off the differential to catch that rubber hose. So now I got to get it painted and have to let it dry before we can put them on. So I guess we're going to get over here to our new motor mounts and get them bolted on the frame. Does anybody else ever have one of them nights where they just can't seem to get anything started? I wanted to work on these back brakes, but we had to paint this mount over here, which I got painted now. Which led me into thinking I was going to do the sway bar up here. And luck would have it, I had another set of sway bar relocation brackets. Came off of a Dodge and they lined right up, shocked the heck out of me. But I don't have bolts for them. So then I thought about working on the brakes, by then I'm already flustered, so... Why try to move that up and down? I uh, do that later. So now I think what's going to be easier is to hop over here on this transmission and transfer case. I had to take it apart underneath the truck. I had the truck up on jack stands, and all I had was a floor jack, and I thought dropping them together was going to be too big. That transfer case, I didn't know if it would try to rock on me. was worried about it. Well, now that I got the cab off, I can mount them, get them cleaned up, which is also going to seal up the hole here and on the transfer case seal them up so i can start degreasing pressure washing and wire wheeling on it without the cab i should be able to set it right in here with the cherry picker it should work out a little bit slicker than rolling around on the ground so let's see what we can get done Time for a quick problem update. Got the rear fuel tank mount on, everything lined up and looks good. Here on the front one, these bolt holes here are angled to the back of the truck. Me being in a hurry, I grabbed the mounts that I already had in here, which was actually off the passenger side of the truck. Thought they looked the same, didn't think I'd have any problems. But if you look at them, they are also slanted where them nuts are welded on and they are slanted the wrong direction for the passenger side. Now these holes here, and here, they line up and make everything right. I just got to get nuts, so it's no big deal. Just a little setback, but we're going to work on through it. I think now we're going to try to start on these back brakes, see if we can't get them buttoned up.
Alrighty guys, we got a bunch of work done today. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hope to see you back again for part six.